Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This is the topic of solution to difference equation part 1 for ESE 563 digital signal processing. Uh, the learning outcomes for this topic is at the end of this course the students should be able to solve total response as well as zero input and zero state responses using classical method. The slides used in this video are based on the monograph by Associate Professor Dr. Hazli Hashim. There are several different methods that one may use to solve linear constant coefficient difference equation for a general input xn. The first is to simply set up a table of input and output values and evaluate the difference equation for each value of n. This approach will be appropriate if only two output values needed to be determined. Another approach is to use the Z transforms. This approach will be discussed in the next topic. The third is the classical approach or classical method of finding the homogeneous and particular solutions which we now describe. To summarize, um, Solving difference equation will enable us to determine the response of the system Yn where a known input xn is being applied to. So the total response Yn is equal to 0 input response Yzin plus 0 state response Yzsn where each part of Yzi and Yzn requires unique solving approach. The zero input response is obtained by um, setting the input signal to zero, making it independent of the input. It depends only on the nature of the system and the initial condition. Um, it depends only on the nature of the systems and the initial condition. Thus, the zero input response is a characteristic of the system itself and it is also known as the natural or free response of the system. On the other hand, the zero state response depends on the nature of the system and the input signal. Since this output is a response force upon it by the input signal, it is usually called the force response of the system. In general, the total response of the system can be expressed as Yn equal to Yzin plus Yzsn.